Hi Taurus, welcome in. Let's see, we're going to do whatever comes out first. Only take what resonates. Okay, we have the Hermit. I see you disappearing. Okay, there's someone here who wants to know what you're up to. It could be an Aries or a Virgo. Capricorn. What is this? Uh, people feel abandoned by you in the month, month of March. There are, okay, so there are some people, one, who think that you're just flat out avoiding them. There's someone here in particular that thinks you're avoiding them. Like they feel outcasted by you. King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you could you could work with them. It's almost like your attitude has shifted. Somebody around you feels like your attitude has shifted, that you're closed off. The Emperor, you could work with this person. You think they're toxic? Tell me more about that. Why is Taurus doing this? This for, <laughs> for your own happiness. You're just letting go of toxic people. I feel like you're avoiding toxicity. Good for you, Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you're just like you're no longer investing in people who you don't you don't need to stick around and wait for your intuition to confirm what you already know about people, is what I'm getting. You're like, yeah, you're toxic, you're toxic, you're toxic, and you're just like, I'm avoiding these people at all costs. And the reason why you're doing it is the sun. Because you want to protect your own happiness. Oh, I am impressed. The, the lovers, the seven of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. You ain't with the bullish. You're not with it. I don't think you're being rude about it. I think you could. <laughs> I think you very well could be rude if you wanted to. I don't think you are though. I think you just have nothing, you have nothing left to say. You know, you have nothing left to say. You're like, you know, with the hermit being here, you're like, look, go sit in the corner and think about what you did. Go think about your life. Go think about yourself. Like, you're just letting these people know energetically. You're like, look, we're adults. You know exactly what you're doing. Okay? People know exactly what they're doing. We have Gemini energy here. Libra, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. The Leo energy. It's just energy, though. Let's see what else. Let's pull you an angel number. Thank you so much for the super chat, Black Mirror. I appreciate that. Yeah, look at that. You're 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 like I'm adaptable. I don't need you. I don't need you. You got angel number five. You could be seeing fives. Okay, fives talk about change. I think you're just making this change. I don't think you're sticking around waiting for circumstances to change. I think you're just like I'm gonna make the change. The emperor that came out. You're like I have control over the situation. The card says flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. You're brave and bold. It says be brave and bold in your endeavors. You're just owning your you're owning your power, Taurus. Look, happiness came out, mountain road. It says you're on the road to success and you're not going to let anybody get in the way of that. Dang. <laughs> Give me one more for Taurus. Okay. He said, I'm a, they're going to learn today. And you don't even have to lift a finger. Whatever you're working on, Taurus, I do see you being successful at it. I also, not only you're going to be successful at it, it's just, it's going to be a main source of your happiness. Whatever this goal, whatever mountain you're climbing right now, you look at this mice discord among friends and family. So you could have some family issues coming up. Okay. Or they're just, the family issues are continuing. 
put all of that frustration into your goals. Okay, you have horseshoe. It's good luck. You're not, you know what, and you're just, you are lucky. And I mean that because what I'm trying to say is like, it's the things we tell ourselves that we manifest. Believe it or not, we create our own reality. I think you're just telling yourself you're lucky and that therefore you are. You're like, I'm, I'm the luckiest person in the world. Everything works out for me. And with that mindset, you're manifesting that reality. We give things meaning, right? With our thoughts. That's how it works. That's the big secret. Give me one more. Two more came out. There is someone who wants to reconcile with you if you care, okay? There's somebody here that feels like they're lacking in life. There's someone here around you that looks at you like you're goal-oriented, that you're going places. Somebody knows that you're going to accomplish a goal and they want to come back into your life. I don't know how they know. They could be watching you or they could know somebody who knows you. If you guys have mutual friends, they're talking about you. They're talking about what you're up to. They're keeping tabs. Okay, let's take a look at the singles. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing? Let's see. I'm going to do Gemini after this, if I have any Gemini placements in here. And I'll probably, depending on how I feel, go ahead and do cancer as well. I just want to shuffle up the cards. Give me a second, guys. Okay, universe. Let's see. What does the universe want Taurus to know? The single Taurus. Who's coming toward the single Taurus? Who's coming toward you? Could be a Libra. Some of you guys will be communicating with a Libra. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? The truth getting revealed. There's gonna you're gonna find out something about a Libra. Could be from the Libra or, you know, someone who knows the Libra, but I'm definitely getting a conversation here. Some sort of truth getting revealed. Let's see. Why don't, okay. I'm getting like, I mean, I'm getting, I'm, this is channeled. Someone's getting, someone needs your help. I don't know what that is. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah, what is this? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Swords. Six of Pentacles. What I'm getting, I see a Libra coming toward you, opening up to you. It doesn't have to be a Libra. They could just have a strong Libra placement. But there's some sort of truth about to get revealed. Somebody's been hiding, okay, the truth. High Priestess. Somebody has a secret that they're about to tell. They're about to confess something to you. If they haven't already, they just... What is this? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So you may already know this. Why do I feel like, what is this? I'm getting a plan, a secret plan. I don't know what this is. Queen of Cups. So I was going to tell you how they feel. Ace of Wands, the Magician, Four of Cups. Okay, this is really weird, guys, but I gotta tell you what I'm getting. I'm getting a conversation between you and someone here. We have strong Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like somebody here wants to tell you their secret feelings. 
And that's going to make you uncomfortable. Four of Cups. You're attracted to this person with the Ace of Wands. But why does it make you uncomfortable? Seven of Swords. I'm getting some like secret plan. You might be slightly uncomfortable with it. I don't know. You could be uncomfortable with it because it 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 means you having to keep the secret as well. You also could be uncomfortable with it because it involves some sort of deception or you have secret feelings for this person, secret attraction for this person. I'm going to pull another spread. That was very odd. Single Taurus, please. Single Taurus. Single Taurus. Who's coming toward the single Taurus? That's Sagittarius here. Somebody coming in to give you clarity on what you already know. Okay. So what I, what I have to say to you, Taurus, if you're completely single, you do have lots of options around you, okay? You have lots of options around you. The problem is, it's like these options, um, they're not really in the place to settle down. I feel like they're a working progress. Does that make sense? It's like, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I'm not about to sell you a, a fantasy. I'm, I'm not about to sell you a fantasy. So if you don't want to hear it, go ahead and click off now. You have options around you, but they're a work in progress. Okay, They still have a lot of work to do on themselves, and they're, none of them are ready for an actual commitment. Are they looking at you passionately? Yes. There are people around you very, pa like you are magnetic. There's there's like this energy with the uh, temperance uh, knight of wands. There, there are people around you that are very sexually attracted to you. And, and I'm getting like, you're just like an energy magnet to these people. You're one of those people that when you walk in a room, it's like everybody knows you're there. You just like, people are magnetically drawn to you. And I'm just getting a lot of people feeling aroused and passionate towards you. A lot. <laughs> okay. A lot of options for sure. But these options are a work in progress. They're not, they need to work on themselves. <laughs> okay. Which we all do. But like, some of these people are carrying baggage with them. Some of these people are carrying like weight from the past that they haven't sorted through. Five of Cups. Do you know, I feel like there's more than one person, Taurus, that sees you as the one that got away as well. There are people around you that are like, they feel like, one, they're missing out on you or that they missed out on you. They missed their chance with you and they do regret that. Anything else for the singles? Single Taurus, please. The full. You have opportunities coming towards you, okay? I do see a new beginning here. Some of y'all specifically, it's an Aquarius or an Aries. It could be a Sagittarius. Judgment. So along with these options, one of the options is somebody from your past that was manipulative wanting a second chance with a judgment card. There's somebody here that I think you went against your better judgment about this person. You may have liked this person that much. You just kind of, you used to be one of those people that were like all in immediately with the full. You're like, okay, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm loyal. I'm all in. You were like that with this person. That's how you're going to know who I'm talking about. Okay. They want a second chance with you. 
But now that you're more emotionally balanced with the temperance card, now that you kind of have a better idea of who you are as a person, you have more patience in relationships. You're more tempered. I, like, I feel like you're more balanced, right? Emotionally balanced. You're more self-assured. That is that you're, that is making you a magnet for people. Okay. <clears throat> so lots of options around you, but just be mindful. These people need to they need to do some serious work on themselves. Let's take a look at the new person. Okay. Let's see. New person for Taurus. New person for Taurus. Justice, Libra energy. I don't really have any intentions for this card to come out. So I just feel like this new person, you are judging accordingly. You know, I feel like you are someone who has been through a situation that really helped you to see things clearly. You're not interested in the potential of who someone can be, right? You need proof. You need hard physical evidence of who someone is. I feel like this is the kind of energy where you're looking at them like, I need solid proof that you are who you're claiming to be. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Uh, they're going to give it to you. This is someone that is very serious about you, Taurus. Very serious about you. The Justice card is also like, it can be karma, okay? It's kind of like, considering what you've been through, this is going to be, you know, this is going to be your karma for what you've been through. What I mean by that, it's kind of like, you got something good coming in, considering what you just recently dealt with. As far as right now, with the current energy, who is this person? Who are they? Who are they? It could be a Scorpio with a tower, but this person does not pay a lick of attention to anyone else but you. If you're one, this person only has eyes for you. They know that you'll drop them in a heartbeat. I'm actually getting someone feels lucky, honored that you're even giving them the time of day. They don't, like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's other people offering a cup to them, for sure. There's other, there's other options wanting to offer them. But they ain't paying attention to those other offers. They ain't paying, they ain't paying attention to it. Tower. They know what they want. You awakened some sort of, you've awakened this person and, you know, they know that you're not with the BS. How do they see Taurus? How does this new person see Taurus? The chariot. Dang. They see you as in control. They see you as determined. person really you really charge this person sexually like you know they're very passionate about you you, you know I'm just they're showing me like a, a battery and a charger it's kind of like I'm, I'm literally seeing like a bit like you recharge them their battery you recharge their battery okay now I'm getting another image that I can't say use your imagination Okay, you guys could be exploring each other sexually this week, okay? Or that's something that's heavily on this person's mind. Tell me more for how they see Taurus. Equal given. Ooh, this is a really, ooh. Who is this? I'm getting like, they want to be very generous to you, okay? Then we have the devil. Devil. 
Somebody wants to dominate you in the bedroom. Like if I'm, I'm just going to be completely, I mean, I'm not saying it the way I'm getting it, but I'm just going to, I'm going to try to keep it clean because of the new guidelines. But yeah, this person wants to dominate you. They want to, they got some pretty naughty thoughts they want to act out here. How do they feel about Taurus? Universe, how do they feel about Taurus? It's too many. How do they feel about Taurus? I just feel like this person wants to take care of you. They want to go through some... You have forever changed this person. I don't think that they've ever, I don't think they ever thought that they were going to meet someone like you. And I feel like this person is in the middle of some pretty rough waters right now. Maybe you don't know about that, but like, I do feel this person is going through some sort of transition in their life, or they're definitely trying to get to a better place. They're trying to get to calmer waters here in their, their own life. And you're like a lifeboat. I'm just getting like you're like a life raft, a lifeboat for this person to make this transition to where it is they want to go. Now look at this. You're their strength. Oh my God. You're their strength, Taurus. Tell me more about how they feel. Oh, two of cups. They feel like you're the one. They feel like this is a soulmate connection. Okay, maybe they don't use that terminology, but maybe they do. I don't know, but they definitely feel like there is an equal give and take here. They love interacting with you. They have already developed pretty deep feelings for you, Taurus. And I just get this energy of like, you give them, you make that, you just make them feel good. Like you make them feel whole. You are the, you, you recharge them. They feel like they could talk to you for hours. Getting like in the midst of everything that goes wrong in this person's life, like I feel like they do have it. I'm not like there is some sort of heavy weight on this person's shoulder. I feel like they are exhausted. The Ten of Swords is an energy of like exhaustion. Uh, you know, when they feel like giving up on things, they think about you and they think about how that would affect the future with you. So I, I really do feel like you bring this person back to life in some shape or form. Kind of like a regeneration. Or like when they feel like giving up, I'm also going to say this too. And this, y'all, this is, you know, for my, you know, my, my channel is for 18 and up. I'm getting some pretty exhausting, rough, naughty time. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to say it without being too graphic. Okay. But I'm just getting like, I do feel like there's going to be some release here and it's going to leave you to let me just say this make sure you have water on hand <laughs> okay i don't i'm done with that i'm done with that all right don't dehydrate now okay god jeez okay i just saw the moon the devil i'm getting like an all-nighter jeez take a nap what y'all doing take a nap all right, make a sandwich, chill out, eat a moon pie, drink a seven up. <laughs> okay. All right, we got Libra, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, we got the world. World talks about completion. We got the sun. Definitely a happy ending here, okay? All right. Y'all got me on here. All right. <sighs> A 
we're going to take a look at the current slash past person. So this is someone that you have a well-established history with. Okay, there's some roots there. Or there's, you know, a past there. Let's see. <laughs> All right. going on with my Taurus readings lately, but y'all, you nasty. All right. So I'm just kidding. Okay. Let's see. Y'all make me uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. All right. Current slash past person for Taurus. Okay. We have the four of wands. They want to reconcile. Strong connection here. Okay, there was a really strong connection here. Or there still is. Their player, Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands doesn't always mean player. But intuitively, I'm picking up on someone who passionately came in, swept you off your feet. And, that you know, I feel like you may have also impulsively... Like, you immediately just decided who this person was based off of pure passion that you felt for them. But the Knight of Wands, you know, comes in very quickly and then it like dies out. It fizzles out just as quickly. Yeah, Knight of Swords. So somebody here has been in and out. Their energy has been in and out. You could have recently gotten some sort of communication from this person or that's what's coming towards you. I'm getting like sudden communication. Okay. The reason why is because they just feel like they have, like your energy slips away from this person and they have to reach out. I don't like this. Okay, we have the star, the five of wands. Could be an Aquarius for some of you, a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Here's the thing. It's like, once this person starts to feel your energy slipping away, they don't even think about it. They just reach out. This, this person can't let you go. They just want to keep you. They just want your energy. I don't even know if they've realized that. How do they see Taurus? How do they see you? Five of Wands. This person still wants you. When you know when they think about you, they remember the last conflict. Okay? And how you may have outsmarted them or, you know, got one over on them. Like they kind of feel defeated too in a sense. We have the Empress, the Ten of Wands, the Emperor. Oh my. Do you know this person still sees a future with you, Taurus? In their mind, they feel like you two just have some sort of hurdle to get past, some sort of challenge to overcome. This person thinks you guys are going to be together again. Uh -huh. That's what they think. This person thinks there's nothing that there's nothing that's going to stop this connection. We have an empress and an emperor here. How do they feel? I know some of y'all get upset that you can't see all the cards, but I mean, look, I got to be comfortable too when I do your reading. So let's see. How do they feel? How do they feel? Confused. They want to reconcile here. Okay. Guys, this person just feels like you're the one. Like, they feel like you're their person. Pisces is here. I do see this person trying. 
okay, this is how it's going to go down. If you're not, if this person is not currently actively in your life right now, I do see eventually this person coming in with some sort of communication and it's going to be communication in a way where they're kind of like, Hey, let's not ruin the friendship. We can still be friends. Okay. There's no point in dissolving a friendship, but it's just their way to get back into your heart space. Now, if you are on some sort of talking terms with this person, I feel like, you know, this person, just regardless in general, this person feels like you're their person and there's going to be some sort of miracle, miraculous like reconciliation. They believe in their heart that you two will be together, that you two will end up together. Look at this, the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person truly feels right now, Taurus, that you two will end up together. That it doesn't matter. I'm here in Ain't No Mountain High, Ain't No Valley Low. Okay, I don't, <laughs> okay, I don't know that song, but I'm like getting Ain't No Mountain High, Ain't No Valley Low to keep me from getting to you. So this person thinks that like within time, if you guys go your separate ways, that you two will eventually come back together. That's what they believe. <laughs> okay. What's their hidden truth toward Taurus? Okay, we got three that flew out. I wish things could be different. I know I messed everything up and I have too much to lose, meaning you. I'm reading that as like, they know what they've lost. They know what they've lost. And they truly, guys, they truly believe that you two will end up together eventually. Like, they believe it in their soul. They're like, Taurus just needs to go about Taurus's way, and, and we'll, be, we'll be back together. We have strong Pisces, Aries. It could be another Taurus, a Libra, an Aquarius, Gemini. I got fire energy here. It could As far as elements, it could be any sign. <clears throat> okay. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley. I really want to like be ridiculous right now, but I'm trying so hard not to. Like I'm tr literally trying to like restrain myself from being, I just have this urge to be like so ridiculous right now, but I'm not gonna. I just wanted to tell y'all. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not a pop star. If y'all, if y'all were wondering, no. The only place I sound good when I'm singing is in my head when I'm like in the shower, okay? Or in my car. In my head. We're gonna do Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Let's see. God, now that song's going to be stuck in my head all day. Roxy said you're absolutely a pop star. <laughs> Give me some auto-tune and maybe. Just maybe. Sing you are my sunshine pretty well. And twinkle twinkle little star. That's 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 where it's at for me. I actually used to sing that to Irish, my cat. She loved that. Alright, Aries through Pisces. <clears throat> and then she would attack me. Like she would love it and then like she would bite my ankles. Because I think she'd be like, okay, enough. Okay. All right.
much. Aries through Pisces. This will be time stamped, by the way. And then I'm going to do Gemini after this. dealing with an Aries. The Aries is very sneaky. Two of swords. The Aries is strategically ignoring you. So if you're wondering why the Aries is not speaking to you, it's all strategic. It's all to get to you, to manipulate you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, your wish come true, a dream come true to the Taurus. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they miss you. I see a reconciliation between you and a Gemini. If you're dealing with a cancer, it's mutual. You both mutually have the same feelings for each other. If you're dealing with a Leo, they want commitments from you. They want to be in a relationship. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo is really focused on money right now, okay? They're really focused on their stability, money. If you're dealing with a Libra, temperance. The Libra does care, okay? The, the Libra really cares about you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Will of Fortune, they believe you two are destined to be together. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're strong, there's a strong emotional attachment there. You and the Sagittarius, I'm getting they have romantic feelings for you that continue to grow. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, not, not a whole lot happening here with the Capricorn. I feel like the situation is going to stay the same. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're coming towards you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces is in their head about this. They're guarded. Okay, I'm just getting like the Pisces doesn't want to drop their guard right now. Thank you so much for the super chat, OJ. I appreciate that, babe. Thank you so much. 